Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for August 2019. Before I go ahead, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel, liked, shared and commented. Um, all those who have booked a reading with me, those who've donated to my channel and those who are still asking if I do a personal reading. Yes, I do offer personal readings and um, if you look at my about page, you'll find all the information that you need there. And once I hear from you, I'll get back to you and then we can get your reading done for you as soon as possible. So Aquarius, today or this month, I'm doing your reading first. Yay! So let's go ahead and let's start your reading. We have our normal tarot and then we've got our um, clarifier if we need so let's start Aquarius okay so Tarot to Universe please tell us what is coming for Aquarius for August and how are they going to be in the current position in the beginning of oh beginning of August you got three of wands what is crossing or complementing Aquarius in August Ooh. Oh, Aquarius, you got your own card here. So now, now that's interesting. Okay. So looks like you're making, you got a plan and there's also a plan. So we'll see what come next and see if you are actually crossing yourself, but I don't believe you'll be crossing yourself. So let's see what's in the recent past of Aquarius. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So, what is the, going to be the foundation for August? For Aquarius in August. Oh, this fell out. Okay, that's the foundation. So, there's something you're certainly fighting for. Okay, so what is the best that can be achieved for Aquarius? Oh. Okay, this card fell out. You've got the wish card. You've got nine and you've got nine here. Okay, so what is coming for Aquarius in August? Ooh, your cards are flying. This is also, I believe, another Aquarius card. Aquarius Libra, I think, yeah so you're moving forward to something so it's all starting to make sense now so what is coming for aquarius and how will they be feeling the overall energy in august whoa wow look at that look at that <gasps> aquarius you've got two cards fall down for you you've got your own card the star you've got the tower so i'll pick both instead of taking one okay i will pick both because we will find out why the two fell out for this position i think we need to move the cards a little bit you know what i'm saying yes no that is more helpful okay so What's going to be affecting your environment? Mm. August for oh, the Queen of Cups. What's the hopes and fear for Aquarius in August? Whoa, hopes and fears. Okay, that's four of swords okay okay so what's going to be the outcome for aquarius okay your outcome is 10 of wands right okay okay and your base is the page of pentacles 
right I think I'll put this here and I'll put that in the background so you know that's your base and we'll see how we can relate to it okay right I believe you can see all the spread yes you can yes you know me I love touching my cards okay 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 so Aquarius before we go any further I feel like I want to check um, the seven of swords because of your your outcome and your hopes and fears okay because you could be sabotaging yourself here with a burden or taking too much responsibility or almost finishing something with a tower card okay so I want to clarify the four of swords I mean sorry the seven of swords just to see okay so tarot and universe please clarify the seven of swords for aquarius why is the seven of swords here okay we've got the high priestess okay right so with the high priestess here i feel it's more like a strategy an intuition you know this intuition card this is strategy so it is you actually um this is what complements you okay so this is not it's not bad now we've got that out of the way and so we will um just start the reading okay yes yeah 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 okay aquarius yes so now that we know that in your recent past money has been um an issue for you or some of you have acquired some substantial amount of money or has come in your way maybe because of that that is why you are making plans yes you are making plans to take action on some some business plan or you know an adventure okay so yes this is your past your present this is what is complementing you because we've got the high priestess she's knowledgeable okay and this guy here is an aquarius so you are you, you need to use all your strategy the best you can to fulfill your dreams. Okay? That is how I understand it from our clarification. And yes, this is, this is not a bad position. <laughs> okay, so your foundation. This is you trying to, um, I feel here, um... Because this is your base, you are certainly in the mood or you've got this in mind to finish a certain task. Okay? That is how I feel it is. This is personal task. It could be anything. Um, it could be with your love life. It could be with your finance. It could be career. But I feel mostly here. Um... For most people, I think it's your career. And for half of you, it would be your love life. That's how I'm seeing it. At the same time, I think for most of you, it would be your career. Looking at the beginning of um, your position here. You know, this is adventure and taking action. You've made your decision between the three and you've chosen one to go. Okay, so... Is something that you've got on your mind 
that you really want to accomplish. That is your base. Okay. So whatever um, project that you've got in mind, um, the universe is suggesting to you, you use all your, all your intuition, all your intuition and strategize because the high priestess, she's very well educated. She's very knowledgeable. That's why she's got her book here. Okay. So whatever strategy you need to do, you need to add your, you know, trust your intuition and go with your gut because this high priestess, she goes with her gut. Yes. She knows stuff. And this is you here planning to, to do something. Okay. So use your intuition and don't feel like I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. That's how I feel. And for what can be achieved is the nine of cups, which is something you are wishing to come true for you. So I feel certainly whatever you are wishing to accomplish with hard work, you will certainly get there. Okay, Aquarius. This is this is very, very, very powerful. Because you've got nine and nine. Nine of wands, nine of cups. So I feel whatever you're wishing for is going to come true for you. And for what is coming in the near future, I feel you'll be getting, you'll be having some mental clarity, okay? Mental clarity about something, whatever it is. But I feel more is to do with your career for most of you. And that's how I feel, okay? Because perhaps for some of you, you are torn between, you know, home and your career. And I feel like for some of you, you will come to a realization that, okay, um, this is what I want to do. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead with it. For some of you, you might have to relocate because this is a moving card traveling overseas and your three of wands card also is certainly moving forward okay so yes some of you may physically have to move but i feel this is more to do with um mental clarity that is how i feel you know because we've got that here we've got that here okay and we've got the high priestess. I feel this is more to do with you balancing out your emotions. Okay. Because we've got water here, which also suggests emotions. Okay. Because this is also, this woman here is also Cancerian and Gemini. Yeah. And so balancing out your emotion, because this is what is affecting your um, environment. You see, so I feel having the emotional balance is what you'll be getting. Okay. In terms of whatever you want to do. And I feel this is more to do with, um, your career, because if you want to look at your base, it's the page of pentacles talking about your talent. And then of course, like I said, some of you are going to be torn. And I feel that, yeah, for some of you, there'll be a revelation, okay? That you need to do certain things differently. And August is the month for you to certainly shine, okay? I, I feel that that is how half of you will be feeling. Feeling like, you know, um, it's time to shine your talent shine for some of you, you are going to have a realization. If I don't change certain things about me and let some things go and start afresh, I'm not going to get to where I want in life. Okay. That's how I'm feeling with, with this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That's how I feel. I'm not getting anything more from the tower card. I feel this is more 
you being in your own element and being, because this is Aquarius. Okay. Um, balancing things out just like here. Okay. So yes, but also, also feel like it is a time where, you know, your finances are going to get better. Your project is going to get good. So if you don't have, if you have a plan and you don't have the confidence or you are not 100% sure, you will have a revelation of how to do things right. Okay? That's how I'm feeling. So I feel for most of you, it's your career. And for what is affecting your environment, is the Queen of Cups. For some of you, it's some females that you've got in your in your lives. Could be your mother, your auntie, your friends. Um, people who are either air sign or water sign. Yeah? Um... I'm saying that because this woman, she's Cancerian and Gemini at the same time. So I also feel this more balancing your emotion for some of you. And for some of you, these are people who are influencing you or um, I, can't, I, I don't feel like it's a business partner. But if it's a business partner, um, I feel this is someone who can help you manage your emotions. I feel this is more to do with how to manage your emotions because it's going to be an emotional month for you in terms of deciding where you want your career to go, having a new start, you know, because I feel some things are ending also with the tower card. Some of you, some things are ending and then you are starting afresh. Okay. Yes. So your hopes and fears. Yes, your hopes and fears here is taking some time out and thinking things through, okay? This card, being in the position of your hopes and fears, this card here is a Libra card, okay? So balancing things out, okay? If you don't balance things out, I feel that is what is going to happen with your with your ten of wands because if you don't find the balance you will overwork yourself here and for some of you things needs to come to a closure okay things have to come to a closure for you to be able to to shine with your talents okay You have to, you have to, some things needs to come to an end for, for you to be able to move forward. But this is finding balance. That's how I feel. I feel this card is Aquarius Libra. Um, so you've got Libra here as well. You've got Aquarius card here as well. And you know, um, yes, you've got 10, something is coming to an end with the tower card but for some of you if you are if you don't balance yourself out and take things out you know some time out some of you are going to burden yourself with too much work okay so my advice my opinion is take good care of yourself and listen to your gut okay this is what is coming okay just look at that. This is what is coming. And for most of you, this is how you'll be feeling. Okay? And I don't think this is a bad feeling at all. So, whatever you do, remember, you can make your wish come true. And you're going to find balance. This is all balance. This is your wish. Okay? So... Aquarius, I wish you all the best for um, August and I'll be uploading your couples and singles reading and so I wish you all the best and I'll see you next month or you will see me next month.